Hey, what is up there, guys? This is Cobra. Welcome back to some more ESL. It's in Elder Scrolls Legends, not the Esports League, damn it. I just like saying ESL, alright? It makes me think of Dota 2 tournaments, but that's completely relevant. We're going to play a bit of a ramp deck in this one. If you're not familiar with Hearthstone, you might know what a ramp deck is. A ramp deck is a deck that excels at accelerating towards the late game as quickly as possible. Again, I've not net decked this shit. Um, I just fucking don't believe in net decking in this fu I don't like it in Hearthstone either, really. Going on to, like, you know, uh, half poon or something and just looking up whatever deck is, like, been upvoted a lot for having a good win rate and just, you know, okay, it's got in this card, I'm gonna put that card in. How fucking lame is that, man? I don't like that shit. Alright, destroy so much fun out of the card game for me. Okay. So this deck got a couple of, um, it's a, it's a purple and green deck, Agility Endurance. I don't really, I'm not, I'm not that familiar with what exactly it means. Like, I don't know if being like green and purple just denotes a ramp deck or something. I just found that these cards seem to have decent synergy together, alright? Got a lot of control -y cards with the greens. Um, where is it here? We've got the Fighter's Guild Recruit. It's guard and lethal. We've got arrow in the knee to do one damage and stun a target. Or shackle a target for one turn. Finish off, destroy a wounded enemy creature. You see we've got a lot of like early game control and shit. We've got three Deathless Draugurus. What these are going to do, are basically when they die, they're going to summon another dude. They're going to be sticky on the board. Why is that good? we got stuff that can give things lethal, right? Skooma Racketeer. What the hell, what the hell have we got? And Daedric Dagger as well. So hopefully you're going to be able to buff up some Vowel guys and just let a little dude like one of these sticky minions, Deathless Draugurus, just one-shot um, a big dude that our opponent plays. That's the plan. It's all fucking theoretical, alright? I haven't got done playtested this shit. Um, we've got a bunch of card draw as well. Where the hell is that shit? Uh, Thieves Guild Recruit. Draw a card if it costs seven or more. Reduce its cost by two. Isn't that shit interesting? Other ramp elements that we've got as well. His Speaker. Whilst His Speaker is in play, your max magicka is increased by one. Accelerates us towards the late game a little bit, at least until it dies. But you can play it in the shadow lane, I guess, and try and keep these things alive. Um, we got a bunch of taunts here, stalwart ally. On summoning this minion, it can gain plus zero two, so it gains two life. And taunt, if the top, uh, if the top card in your deck is a purple or endurance card. Tree Minder, gain plus one max magicka. Fucking awesome. Accelerates us all towards a bunch of really, really strong five drops, like Leaf Laker, destroy a wounded enemy creature, giant snake, shackle all enemy creatures in this lane. Really, really good. We got Shadow Fen Priest because it's just fucking awesome utility. Soul Rest Marshal, blah 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 blah. Volikar Lord, 7-7 seven, seven with Drain, fucking awesome. 7 mana 8-8. Eight, eight. Swamp Leviathan. Gold Brand, which I'm not gonna I'm not we just couldn't we just couldn't I'm hoping that we can get a game where we actually get good use out of this card. You guys see it then. Chorus Reaper. Or Shorus Reaper? I'm not quite sure if that's pronounced. I'm just gonna call it Fuck it. Jorus Reaper. That's what I'm going to call it. Give all enemy creatures in this lane minus one, minus one. Really, really good. Helps you live. And this fucking card is sick. Quinn Roll Burglar. Drain effect. It's a six mana, four, four. But if you can get one attack in the enemy face with this, it gains plus four, plus four. Remember, that's what Pilfer is. Hit the enemy face. It just buffs the fucking card to an eight, eight. So sick. All right. So we're going to try this. I think we might not have quite enough late game in this card. Because uh, these are 50 card decks. I'm kind of still... I'm still trying to figure my way out of the uh, the Hearthstone mentality where in a control deck, the most minions that you're really going to have that are like big threats on the board, you might have like four or five of them, right? Ragnaros, Sylvanas, Khan. Um, I don't know, Grom, Hellscream if you're in... Um, if you're playing like a warrior deck. You might, you might throw an old god in there, but... These are 50 card decks. There's the gold brand as well. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of all this apart from Stalwart Ally, because it's just a really, really solid card. It's like a three mana Sinjin Shieldmaster, you know? Shit. He actually went for the same shit as I did. Okay, well, we can't play anything. I wonder if this guy's playing like an. He's playing the same colors as me, dude. I wonder if he's playing like an aggro deck though. Because I find that uh, green and purple are really good at controlling the board. So we'll see how this goes. Um, do I care that much about taking this damage?
Hmm. See, it's really interesting because I know that he can give this card lethal, you know? He can give this card, um, yeah, shut the hell up. He can give this card, like, the toxic effect. So it can act, fucking take out my taunt, you know? This one thanks you. I'll just, I'll just thank him because that's what you do. Um, I'm gonna have to take the risk, I think, and get a minion out. Fuck, the top card on my deck is not a purple card, so it's not gonna get in taunt and plus two life. Kinda sucks. But then again, you might have a uh, lethal for this anyway. My sword hand itches. Okay, he's gonna draw a card. It's okay, I think. Do I really mind face my blade. that he's going face like that right now? I don't think I care too much. Just let him draw a card from that. When that creature dies, it draws a card, by the way. That's its death rattle. Last gasp gain five health. Oh, okay, yeah, so it heals him. Okay, I see. I see. So it can malefic wreath that and just kill it. Because it reduces health to zero, so... Seems alright. Guess we just do that. Take him out. Face my blade. Okay. So we are fine with him going face right now. They cannot hope to outwit me. Okay, what does he do? I think he heals. Deal three damage to your opponent and gain three health on death rattle. Okay. So we need to stop this guy, because this is a pilfer guy, we can't let this guy hit first. Yeah, this guy is actually playing a very, very aggressive deck. Okay, we really, really need this now. We need this to activate. Come on, what? I'm never fucking lucky, man. Do you know that shit? I'm actually never lucky. Yeah. Oh, we have to kill there. Oh, yeah, we drew a card because we took some damage. Okay. So I could suppress this, but... I'll wait till next turn, because he's probably going to go face with this, I'm fine with that. If he does 3 damage to my facey, we draw a card. Same thing again. Yeah. His deck is very, very aggressive. Okay. Okay. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. I don't think. <laughs> um. Alright, so I'm thinking I'm going to suppress that. Silence that. Right. Hmm. Quite a tough call to make, actually. Because actually coining out one of my Chorus Reapers doesn't do enough, I don't feel. Don't think it quite does enough. I might have to do it anyway. If I silence here and trade, and then maybe I actually do just coin out one of the Chorus Reapers. I have two of them, so I can do it back to back. Right. Hmm. Alright, let's not make the same mistake as last game. Okay. Let's just go for this. Yeah. So he raised up a couple of his dudes. The only thing I'm worried about now is the shadow lane might get pretty crowded soon. Okay, I'd be very surprised if he didn't make that trade, so... Okay, so we can trigger a card draw for ourselves here. I think I will do that by taking a few points of damage here. Hist speaker. Okay, I'm so... Not really doing us a ton of good. Hmm. Maybe go ahead and just play this one right here and just nerf the damage of this lane, you know? Maybe that's how we do it. It's really, really rough. Tough decisions, man. I could just draw a card. <coughs> I could just draw a card while speaking properly. You know what? I think I will do that. 
Let's take it a bit slow here. Let's not fucking rush into anything, all right? I know that we're sort of working against the clock, but I think that we're going to be all right. Because all these guys in this lane have stealth. I drop power from these trees. Okay. Just play it slow. We could take a bunch of damage here. And burn all but our last rune. Okay, he's going to gain more health. That's, again, completely fine. I think he's misrunning this card, actually. This just doesn't fit his deck at all. Hell, at least in my opinion. Okay. So now I can run this out into here. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we don't have to do that. But I think that it's still really good just to run this out in this lane. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Nerf all these guys down. Make these trades. Okay. We do all that shit. Now we might have to make a pretty annoying trade here. Hmm. Okay. Well, this guy will get buffed if I play him, so... Let's play some of these guys out. I am gonna trade. Damn it. We really, really need to draw into some healing here. Okay. Shuffle three Dark Brotherhood Assassins into your deck. Oh god. It's gonna show me the animation for each of them. They won't be expecting this. Trigger the last grasp. Okay, that's irrelevant. He gains a bit more health. You can actually ascend over 30 health, as you can see in this, uh, in this one. Prophecy? Oh shit. Okay. So this here wants to go in this lane and replace this. Because this guy has lethal. Which is really, really nice for us. Okay. He's just got to end turn now, unless he's got a one mana, sp uh, one mana thing he wants to play. So we do have a little bit of healing in the deck. Or did I forget to put it in? If I did forget to put it in, then... Might need to review this shit a little bit. Okay, so next turn... Okay, it's only a friendly creature in this lane. I can die and do that. Real problem is with the shadow lane is that now that I'm really low, I can't interact with the uh, interact with it very well without having a spell. Okay. Let's think about this. I no way to taunt anybody. I think I gotta buff this guy with the Daedric Dagger. So that he has to use his 5-4 to punch through. Because if his 5-4 can get through and hit me in the face, I just die. Which isn't good. Um... So I could play this just to draw a card. To uh, destroy a mana... I, I will be destroying one of my own mana crystals, but... Welcome. This was gonna draw. This is gonna draw me a card. So nice. This has guard as well. Okay. So I'm again. I'm gonna have to replace one of my dudes here. He's gonna have to replace this guy. But having a taunt, it's very very useful for us right now. Okay. Now we have to start just doing some face damage. We got a couple of taunts up. We just need him to not have a spell now. If he has a spell to kill uh, one of my dudes, then we're in some trouble. Oh, it's a charge. Shit. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the deck. I'm going to put some healing in. Because um, it feels like we just didn't have enough heals there. Okay. Man, it feels good to be new to a card game. <laughs> Instead of like learning all the shit, you know? Giant Bat has Charge and Drain. But I don't think that's quite what we're looking for. 
Do I have any Ransacks that I could squeeze in? Because Ransack is a prophecy card. Deals 3 damage and gain 3 health. So you can use it if desperate. It's like on use, just board clear. Or if you draw from prophecy, it's extremely good. Maybe we drop this. I've got to I've got to try and make the deck a bit more consistent, right? I got to try and make the deck a little bit more consistent. We actually had two crushing blows. I mean, we have a decent amount of clear in this. Does Dick uh, Deirdre Dagger really fit? I mean, what's our cave like? We have a lot of threes. Dune smuggler. Um. I'm gonna hazard dropping that as well. Put a couple of ransacks in there. And what the fuck else? Cause I need I need a way to like consistently heal, you know? Um Although this might be okay. Just this might be okay. We do have one house kinsman as well which can heal. Let's just try it like this. Let's not like over edit the deck. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, you know? Because I think that this deck is okay. I think that it's okay. Alright, couple more prophecy cards. Makes us less vulnerable to just getting rushed down like that. Um, and they also added healing. So, I think adding those, um, those ransack cards is a pretty healthy move for our deck list against uh, aggro, right? Um... I'm so tempted to just keep Giant Snake, you know? Oh, but I'm going first. Okay, now let's get rid of it. If I could get it out early to respond to um, early threats, then sure. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Now, you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I mean, I'd probably play this if I didn't uh, hold the Stalwart Ally, which really didn't come My through his last game. It's got like a 50% chance, kind of, statistically, to uh, gain two health and taunts, so... Okay, let's draw a card. Seven drop. Fuck. Well, it's one of our ramp cards. I think I could do the bit more late game as well, but Ransack is a six mana card. So it sort of counts as late game, but it is a prophecy, so it is a bit inefficient. Really? Really? What? Wow, I would not have done that if I was him. Okay. So we're actually holding some of our healing right now, because this guy's death rattled, no last gasp is 3 damage to my opponent and gain 3 health. It's pretty good for us. I'm actually going to do this and gain one mana advantage over this guy. Which is actually going to be a two mana advantage um, once his elixir expires anyway. Or if he chooses not to use it. I'm ready for anything. Okay. Alright. What's the effect on this? Okay. Oh, sick man. Well, we've drawn both our taunts now, so... It's a good one. I like that card, man. It's sick. Um, guard summon plus two plus two if there is a wounded enemy creature in this lane. It's kind of tempting, but you know what? It's going to run this out, I think. I Come on, man, please. Why is it always me, dude? Why does it never... It's like, it's basically 50-50 because half of my deck... I think slightly more half, slightly more than half of the deck is purple. There's a play. There's always a play. It's quite astounding that we that we're coming up short on that all the time, you know. Okay, so this is the one that can only attack if there's a friendly creature in each lane. Oh, it can't be summoned unless there's a friendly creature in each lane. That makes a bit more sense. Okay, so I can play my green packed guy now. Um, which is really really good. Right. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything here. I want to save my Leaf Laker for a better turn. Sweet, man. A 5-6 taunt for 4 mana. I know we played it on a 5 mana turn, but still, it's pretty good. 
contests really, really well. Damn. We are playing that card, dude. Oh, no, not in this deck, we not, but, you know. You won't spoil my plan. Okay. Wow, he made that trade. Would it have made a difference if he didn't? Maybe not. Okay. Thieves Guild recruits Leaf Lurker. Leaf Lurker seems pretty good here. Trade Leaf Lurker. Leaf Lurker seems okay. Doesn't trade well with this though, which is the only thing I'm giving thought to that right now, you know? If I could guarantee that the Stalwart Ally would actually work. I mean, oh my god, like every of the previous cards that we've drawn has been fucking green. I'm not going to risk it, though. Destroy your wounded enemy creature. Let's do that. Okay. So it's really important, now that we like ahead on cards, and we're starting to uh, get ahead on board a little bit, that we don't trigger his runes yet. Right? 1-1 one, one charge. Okay. He's down to two cards. Deal three damage. He's down to one card. I'm fine with taking that damage. There's the ransack that I was talking about. Um. Okay. You know what? Let's play this first. Let's draw a card, man. That's a good one to have drawn. Let's see if this guy can get taunt this time. Seriously? Seriously? That's four for four of, of not worked, you know? That's, that's fucking madness. Okay, well this guy gains plus two plus two. Um, if I have seven or more mana, so... I think that's okay. The reason I'm putting him in this lane is that if he plays a guy in this lane, I can damage him with my 1-1 one, one and then cast finish off. If it's a big thing, you know? If it's a big minion. Rapid shot to draw a card. Mighty ally. Okay, I'll just ransack that. Because that's a 6-3, right? Yeah. Yeah, we can do 3 damage to that. I think that's worth a ransack. He's got to make that trade. And we can afford to tack in with one guy. This turn. We don't want to put him at 25. We don't want him to draw a damn card. Okay. Give me that health, man. So, obviously, it's 6 mana. That card is way, way overpriced. But it has the added bonus of being a prophecy, so I think it's still decent. Wow, man. Really? Piecing javelin on that? You nuts. Um... Could do this and just trade it in for the card draw, actually. Welcome to the shadows. Oh, what? I'm such a fucking potato head. They cannot hope to outwit me. I could have actually suppressed that, but I don't want to do that shit. I think the only way we can lose the game now is if when we decide to go face, um, he gets some really sick shit, you know? Okay, that's completely fine. Arrow in the knee. I think that's worth an arrow in the knee in this guy. Okay. Now, I don't actually want to play anything, and I don't want to attack him. I don't want to draw his shit, alright? Alright. I'm relying on, um... I'm just drawing better cards than him now. Like, even this is like a decent card right now, you know? If I do anything, I should do this. Get the card draw. Whenever, whenever a minion dies in the same lane as the uh, Disciple of Nomura, you get to draw a card, so that's nice. It's lovely. Okay. Let's guard up in both lanes. And start building a fucking sick board, man. 
don't want to attack again to put him at 20. Doesn't seem like makes much sense to me, so. Their deaths right, will bring glory to the Empire. It's going good. I like it. Triumphant Yal. If you have more health than your opponent, draw two cards. Yeah, man, that ain't gonna work. Oh, wow, every time I gain a mana passively, this gains plus one attack as well. Sweet, man, that's a fucking cool card. I like that. Um... Do I want to give this the De uh, Daedric Dagger? I think I do. I'm going to suppress there. Daedric Jesus Dagger on this. Through sure there, and I think I am going to start to push some face damage now. Not too much. Oh, he got a prophecy immediately? First one? Peace up for your javelin. Oh, okay. A zero nine taunt. Interesting. Horns and claws. Looks dead to me. Okay. Let's give him no more than that. We just gotta navigate this carefully now. Don't give up board control, don't overextend. Be delicate about this, you know? Okay. Give us another card draw. Oh, sick. There's the fucking Volcal Lord. Oh my god. It's so sick. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. I will attack there. So he's gonna draw another card. That's okay. I think he's fucked now, honestly. Okay. We got our big guy down with Drain. He can take that out. See, he's just he's just he's not conceding for the time being because he's waiting to see if his runes are gonna get him anything. That's why I let's I like this shit as well, man. I feast on your pain. You should never really concede. Because there's always a chance, you know. Um I should attack with this first, right? I guess I should have attacked with this first, but. You know what? I can just attack with all this shit. Run out my fucking dudes. Look at the size of that fucking thing. I think that'll be fine. I don't think there was any prophecy you could draw there that could actually get him back now. But I like that as well. Even when you're completely beaten, you're very, very rarely going to see me concede in this game, you know? If I have a rune remaining. I'm ready for anything. There's always that chance, man, that something amazing can happen, you know? We got him. Sick. All right, man. We were on a bit of a bit of a downward streak for a moment there. But we're all right now. Sick, man. Finish up the game on thirty health as well. Look at that. See, this guy I think played a little bit too much for tempo. Like he went a little bit crazy. Nicely done. Oops. It has been an engaging hunt. It has been an engaging hunt. Said the Khajiit. So I win three three games. I think I actually get you get a card. I completed the quest as well, so a bit of gold. Fucking sick. He seems very very Hearthstone esque, but I think after winning three games, yeah, you not only get okay, we got the gold here for the quest, but you get fifteen gold for three wins, or at least on this occasion we have, and we got a card as well. So you actually just earn cards after winning three games. That's pretty cool. Good friendly creatures in this one lane. Uh, 2 plus 2 this 10. So it's kind of like a savage raw kind of thing going on there. I like it. Okay. Sick. Let's keep going, man. I like this deck, I think. I think this deck's cool. This is an archetype that I understand because of Ramp Druid and Hearthstone, you know? Um, one of the f I was just reading through the cards and I was like... I saw these all gain 1 mana or increase your maximum magicka by, you know, this amount. And I was just like... Wild Growth, Dianus' Aspirant, uh, fucking, what the hell's it called? Can't remember the other names of, uh, Nourish, shit like that, you know? I was like, man, I get this, you know? This is a, this is an archetype I feel like I can make something with. And have some degree of confidence that I'm Hail doing something friend. good. 
Even if I don't have the best legendaries and the best late game cards, uh, I've just kind of got the vanilla cards, you know. Okay, I'm, I'll just mute, alright. Takes a lot of thinking in this game. <laughs> I want to make sure that um, I'm not fucking it up. Okay. Alright. I'll just pass. I mean, in Hearthstone, if someone starts, like, emoting me, I tilt so hard and so quick. So fuck that, man. I'm just not gonna subject myself to that shit. Not in this damn game, alright? In Hearthstone, you barely even have to think. Most, most decks have got. Sick, man! It actually fucking worked! We drew a seven or more minions, so it's been uh, reduced down to five. Wow, man, that is so good. Okay. It's time to stack on for the board. So we're gonna try and just aggro him down a little bit. Okay. I don't want to go too crazy and too aggressive. But temptation might just overcome me, alright? Oh, Let's nay! Why does it work for him? Put a fireball into your hand if the top card in your deck is blah. Fuck this guy, man. It's not his fault, but I'm angry. My, My fucking joust minions never work, dude. Never. Ever. Um... Do I just want a crushing blow of that? Yeah. Just crushing blow of that. You see, I wanna I wanna keep his focus on this lane, right? Cause then next time next turn I'm just gonna fucking elixir out to goddamn five mana eight eight. So I'm quite a 4 minus 7 7, but it's pretty close. Bit slower. Okay. If I fall, the heat will be Damn. Okay, well, at least he isn't playing that into a. Uh, uh, Leviathan. Do I play this in the Shadow Lane? I guess it makes no real difference. <laughs> I think I'd rather be able to trade into whatever he's got, you know? Um, the fact he just played uh, a lethal taunt card. He might not have a second lethal taunt card. If he has a taunt, I'm not too sad. This should take up a lot of his resources, you know? Because we are playing it well ahead of curve. Well ahead of curve. Let's shed some light Put a fireball in your hand. He got it again, man! He won the joust again! What? Come on, man. Never fucking lucky, you know that? Maybe I just need more purple cards in my deck or something so I win these damn jousts, you know? Okay. Just how aggressive are we actually gonna go here? Okay. I kinda just wanna go all in. I kinda wanna go all in for this shit. And I know that I shouldn't, it's not what the deck is made for. But I just kinda want to. Because I can stun this card for one turn. Gonna do it. Any damage there, he's gonna draw a couple of cards. Oh wait, oh yeah, okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Brin just fighting all over me. They cannot hope to outwit me. Shackle that. Okay. So we're gonna do a shit ton of damage, hopefully. He might just have clear from hand though. It's a possibility. Okay. Yeah, damn. Okay. So now the scary thing is we have to let him come back into the game a bit more now to draw some cards, I think. Oh, okay. Well he's drawing us a card here, that's good for us. And that's also a card draw, so that's really good. Oh my god. Okay, the aggressive strategy continues. If this thing hits face, it turns into an 8-8. Come on! You know what's crazy? We can even silence with Shadowfen Priest. We can actually silence a taunt card. If he plays a taunt. Nay, he's got finish off, hasn't he? 
Oh, a double fireball. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, he created two of them. Man, he's dealing a fair amount of spell damage to us. Sorry if I'm like fucking up the mic here, by the way. Wow, dude. Okay. So going totally ham isn't always the answer, right? My sword hand itches. Blood on the waters. Okay. I'm still willing to stay relatively aggressive because he's spe uh, spending a lot of um. Sorry, my fucking heads it's so uncomfortable for some reason. He's spending a lot of resources here to keep the board relatively clear. And we do hold the seven mana minion, but it is only a five four. It's, it's better to be played against a bunch of minions, obviously. Man, check that mark on my, under my eye right there. You see that? See that red mark? I thought I was gonna get a fucking black eye, man. I clipped my face off the <laughs> off the side of a goddamn cupboard while getting a plate out. I was in a, such a good mood as well, man. I was singing in the kitchen, just going about my business, you know. And then bam! Got wrecked. Okay, so I can just silence that. I should silence this though, right? After Breton Kundra loses Ward, summon a 5 5 Frost Atronach. I don't really want that. So I think I'm going to silence that. And I think that that's just correct in just about every way, really. You must be cleansed. Let's do that. Let me crushing blow this. Trade into this. Now, the big decision. Do we go face and give him yet another card? Or do we hold off? We put him at 15 life. Nah. I feel like we trade. And maybe that was a mistake to use that actually, because now we can destroy a wounded minion, you know? And he'd much rather destroy this than my taunts. I should have thought about that a bit more, I think. Mistakes were made. Look how sparkly the map. Look at that man. It's all I runic and shit. Okay. Okay. That's actually a very, very, very big problem for us. And we can't win a race against him now. Damn. I gotta put everything in this lane. Blood on the waters. Mother of mud. Okay. You waste my breath. No card draw there. Mud and mayhem. You waste Just gonna start pushing face. I'm not gonna put in this last attack because I don't think one damage is worth him getting another card yet. See, he really, really wants to hit face with this uh, Kinroll Burglar. And if I can't kill it next turn, he probably wins the game. So we're gonna be super careful here. We're gonna see what uh what Cleary's got. Cause right now we can push through with nine damage here from these two. This thing might die. Shadow Fem Priest, it's quite likely that it dies. We can push through with nine damage here. Fourteen damage in total. That means that is three heal that he gets from this won't be enough because he'll be at exactly uh, 14 so he needs a bit of something else gee gee he didn't fucking have it oh and I feel so good man oh give me that victory <laughs> fucking sweet okay I'm gonna break it off here guys I'm gonna keep him playing because this game's fucking sweet it's brilliant you see what I mean when you win a game, you feel like you've done something. I didn't play perfectly that game, and it's extremely difficult to play perfectly in this game, but... Man, I feel like we did good. I feel like we earned that win. That fe feels like a good one, alright. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Jesus Christ, man, they're fucking taking us out. We gotta laser down the rest of the weapons, though. Oh, sweet, we just did it. Okay, Pingu, go and help repair that. Contact the civilian ship. The ship you saved was badly damaged in battle. Most of the crew accepts...